Hey, this is Clint Oldenburg from EA Madden NFL, and you're watching Hollywood Sports. Hail to the rich. What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, my Madden football fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're going to have a fantastic year with Madden NFL 25. Man, we're going to be doing online ranked matches, guys. Obviously, we're going to be doing our franchise mode. But the, 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 the part of this video is, guys, when we look at one-handed catches, and you saw the title, man. This is my reaction and thoughts on one-handed catches. I hope it's not going to be a problem. And one of the, th I want to talk about the things I see. We know, um, I hope there's not too many one-handed catches in this game. We know how EA normally put something new in the game and they overdo it. They don't balance it. They don't put it in a proper perspective or proper position of the gameplay. Um, let me give you my example of what I'm saying is, it shouldn't be a bunch of one-handed catches in this game like you saw right there now um they're they're unnecessary basically a lot of these catches i'm seeing one-handed are unnecessary because if you have a wide open receiver why would he catch it with one hand okay why would he catch the ball with one hand if he's open okay now um it should be now the one-handed catch should be for like spectacular wide receivers high rated wide receivers um spectacular catches is what i'm trying to say um, um you know ea has a tendency to do it wrong um you look at that catch by kelsey right there now that could have been okay because he had to, he had to come back for the ball but he still could have put two hands on the football okay like that catch right there he was wide open why do a one-handed catch See, that's what I'm saying, guys. I think we're gonna, it's going to get repetitive when we see too many one-handed catches, okay? You know, the, the, the ratings came out a few days ago, and they showed the top 10 wide receivers. Now, those guys should be the ones that have the spectacular one-handed grabs. But in the right time, um, let's say they in the back of the end zone um, where they come down, they're trying to keep their foot in, but they reach out of bounds for the ball and catch it with one hand. Those are the times and the proper moments you should see one-handed catches. Like that one on the sideline right there. That should not be a one-handed catch. He was wide open. Okay? Uh, maybe out of reach catches. They can do one-handed catches, guys. Um, and I know they do it because it adds a fun flavor to the game on the one-handed catches, but they're going to get repetitive. That's the thing about it. It's going to get repetitive. So only use that one-handed catch when it's proper, when it looks natural, when it's balanced. And it's an actual spectacular catch. Okay? I know I'm showing the same video, guys, but they didn't show too much video of guys doing one-handed catches. But if, if the receiver's wide open, or open as you make a natural catch. The one-handed catch should be for spectacular catches. How many times can I say that? You know, Kelsey deserves, he has the, the talent to do a one-handed one -handed catch, but like that one, look. Why should he catch a one-handed catch on the sideline when he's wide open? I don't know, guys, that's my thoughts. It's gonna be repetitive. They have to do these things at the proper times, proper moments, to really get that spectacular one-handed catch. And then even when the crowd comes in, you feel more immersion. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on my next video.